super exciting video today i'm sharing with you my archives finds and if you don't know what the archives are or how to find pieces in the archives i have a special video for you so just watch this i'm linking it here so you guys can see how to score pieces from the Cezanne archives it's very exciting but it can be very frustrating too as it's sometimes can be really tricky to be able to score these pieces so i'm sharing with you some strategies that i have found useful and actually some of you already reported to me that you were able to score some pieces so i'm really really happy to hear let me know below if you're able to get anything this time this video will be split into two and today i'm going to be sharing five pieces with you most of them in leather so if you like that just don't forget to give the thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so next week when i see you guys i'm going to be reviewing a few new pieces that i got and it's from their basic collection the crop it's just those pants that they just released they're so cute and they are shorter like ankle and white legs they're super cute and i'm going to share with you if they fit me or not and a few other pieces like the sorana skirt in knit, which is so cute with batty cardigan and also the rebecca which is gorgeous and the Gaspard. So I got a few pieces that I wanted to share with you and tell you guys what I'm keeping or not. But let's get started with today's video. The first piece I'm going to review is this beautiful skirt in leather. It's suede, as you can see. And this, I have to say that it really surprised me because I didn't think it would fit me, especially because it's a stiff fabric. Usually leather is really tricky to have a good fit especially for me because i have a smaller waist compared to my hips when you look at it it is a little bit curvy but not curvy enough but i feel like this you know it kind of i won't say stretch but it kind of adjusts to your body so i actually really like the fit of the betty skirt i had tried before in green and if you guys haven't seen the video i can link for you and it's a really good fit i got my size in 35 six which is my usual size or four and i feel like it was a, a great fit i don't think the 38 would have been good at least not for this model for this color if you guys are you know have been buying Suzanne for a while you know that the sizing can be a little inconsistent when it comes to the same style but a different fabric or color so for this one at least i could say that the 36 is great it's a really good fit this skirt is beautiful, so well made, very well constructed, as you can see. I love the pockets. These um, buttons are so pretty. Sadly, mine came with this gold a little bit tarnished. So I don't know if my camera can capture this, but if the camera cannot capture, it means that our eye is not going to capture it either. So it doesn't bother me a lot. It just gives you know a vibe of a very vintage in distressed kind of gold like aged gold so i think it's very pretty i can't say for sure if this is a flaw or if it's just how they made the the buttons some of them are more tarnished than others so it's really hard to say but i love this skirt i think the color is really good it is more of a terracotta you know brick color so it's neutral but it still has a hint of color which i think it's nice and to me, it didn't feel too long or too short. I think it's a great length. I do not have a lot of skirts. When I grew up, I really didn't like my legs. And when I was in school, until high school, like um, middle school until high school, I remember hating to wear skirts because our uniform was a skirt. And I hated it so much. I had very skinny legs and I already had large hips, even though I was super skinny. Um, so I kind of grew up traumatized and I never wore skirts until my 30s. Like I am 34 years old right now and I feel like I started wear to wear skirts maybe last year, which is so weird and so random, I know. But I think it's a fun fact I wanted to share with you. So now I am embracing my legs, whether I like them or not. But anyways, so this skirt actually, because it feels really flattering and it, it does cinch my waist, I feel like it looks really nice so i'm keeping this one for sure now the next item that i wanted to review i'm still laughing is the william shorts and i have this one in suede as well i'm gonna be doing a quick comparison 
So what's funny about these shorts is that I got these twice accidentally because I think it was just too sleepy. The archives happened, you know, 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. here in New York. So I was sleepy and I ended up ordering two of these. So what's funny about them is that even though they were the same size, 36 or 4, my usual size, they were a little bit different. Like the other pair that I returned, they were actually smaller on the waist. So, and the fit was a little bit different too. So you can be sure of what you're gonna get because it could be one of the smallest uh, versions of the 36. It could be a larger version of, of the 36. Not my fault, I'm just sharing with you. So obviously the quality is fantastic. You can see how well made this is. It's just so buttery soft. The leather is really, really good. The leather is lambskin, I just confirmed. So it is really, really soft, and I think it's a beautiful piece. I do feel like this is year-round. You could definitely wear this in the spring or fall. The color is really neutral, although it has a little bit of a red into it, and I think it's really beautiful. Love the color. If you compare the two of them, here it is. And the ones that I had before that I actually got from the archives too were in suede, and they're also the William shorts, but you can see there's a little bit of a difference in terms of sizing. So the leather version is definitely bigger, but again, remember that I got another pair and it was smaller than that. So it could have been just this one. It is pretty loose on my waist, you see on the mod shots. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, especially because I did get this one before and I don't know if I need the two of them. I still have to think about it, but I think the shorts are very well made and sadly it's a little bit loose on me but at the same time i like that because when you sit down it's comfortable it does have a little bit of fabric extra fabric on the crotch area so i feel like this happens with most most leather shorts but it doesn't really bother me i think it's just how the style is and that's okay i like the style i like the feel and i think it's beautiful i really love the the william shorts I got this one for a really good price, especially, you know, because it's leather and leather shorts, leather pieces can be really, really expensive. So I think it's definitely a great find. The other leather shorts that I got were the Robin shorts. So this one I had already in this gorgeous green and I love these shorts so much. I actually wore the green ones, but my green ones so many times, maybe five or six times last year. I got maybe about a year ago and it still looks like new because a lot of people asked me if this was you know showing any signs of wear but not really i don't see any peeling i don't see anything wrong no stains although i definitely recommend spraying this with a um, suede protector just test before maybe test like on this area i'm actually going to try a few products uh, with my leather pieces and then i'm gonna let you guys know but I think it's a beautiful piece and it's so flattering. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one because I already have the green, but I wanted to try and see. This is definitely more neutral. So I feel like I could wear this so much more than the green one. That's, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit limited in terms of color. But this one is more like a brown khaki kind of greenish um, shade. I really like them. I got this one in my usual size, 36 or 4, and I also ordered accidentally another pair. So the first pair that I tried was actually a little bit smaller than this. I decided to keep this one. They both fit similarly, I have to say, but the other one was more snug in the in, on the waist. And just so you know, when I got these, they were pretty snug on my waist too, but it definitely stretched out over time because I wore a lot. So it's not to a point that it bothers me or it's uncomfortable, but definitely something to keep in mind in case it gets a little bit snug. You can still wear maybe in three times, after three times it's going to get a little bit looser and more comfortable. And the shorts are really nice. They have a gorgeous collar, gorgeous um, suede. I think it's very well made and it's not too short. I think it's great. It's a great length and also because it's high-waisted it doesn't feel that short so like usually if you have this length but you have mid waist or low waist then it feels like super tiny like super short but i feel like these ones you know because they're high waisted it's just great 
Um, also, the material I believe is just like the William Shorts in suede. I have to see. It says gold leather. So this one's gold leather, and it all it's all lined. Love them, but still deciding whether I'm gonna keep it or not. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You think it would be justifiable to keep that already having the green ones. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And if you look at all of them, here's all the colors together, which I think is a good way to compare. Those are the three pieces that I got from the archives. And here's the one that I already had, which is the green. I think these colors are so good, especially together, but you can't wear all four at the same time. Um, the next piece that I wanted to show you is the zig jacket. I was so, so interested in getting this jacket straight from the website, not in the archives, but I was having a hard time paying $500. It retails for $500, but on the archives it was actually 50% off. So this was a great find. It was $250, which I think is a great price for a leather jacket. And I have a similar one from All Saints, which costs a lot more. Well, it costs the same as the retail for the Cezanne one. And I have one from the Jacket Maker that's absolutely beautiful and amazing quality too. I actually have a discount code if you guys want. And I have a video on it if you want to take a look at in case you're looking for a leather jacket. So the Zig Jacket, I would say it does fit true to size, but you have to be aware of one thing which is the sleeves being a little tight at least on my arms i feel like this one the 36 or size 4 which is my usual size was a little bit snug if i wear this with a tank top of course it's perfect or something very thin fabric um like long sleeves but a thin fabric it's completely fine but if i try to wear with knit or something a little bit thicker then it does get a little bit snug on my on my you know that area when you when you bend your arm so something to keep in mind and if you want to wear this with something underneath that's a little thicker just size up i would get a 38 i actually saw the 38 but after seeing dearly bethany's video i decided to go with my usual size and then didn't work i just feel like i could have you know gone with the 38 and have so much more aware of this because of the flexibility of wearing something thicker underneath so i really love the jacket i think i am keeping this one because i can still wear but i just wish i had gone with 38 for a looser um, fit um i feel like other than that it's perfectly cropped and i love that about it i think for us who have smaller waist and larger hips it's really tricky to find a jacket that doesn't cover our waistline and then it looks really weird and bulky and it just makes us um, like straight. So this works really well if you have a straight figure because it's going to complement your body type. Same if you have an apple shape, but when it comes to hourglass and pear shape, I feel like it do just works a lot better, especially hourglass. I think pear shape should be okay, but the hourglass shape, it works better if you have a crop jacket because this way it, it defines your waist and it makes it a lot more flattering than just having large you know broad shoulders and then making it entirely the same cut so i think for the silhouette it's just better to have it cropped and i love that about zinc jacket i think it's amazing for that it's completely lined and very comfortable to wear uh, this one is 100 percent leather it doesn't say what kind of leather but it's a really buttery soft leather so i am assuming either calf skin or lamb skin i can't say for sure but it's really an amazing piece and such an investment that i think it's definitely worth it i saw that on the act act two as well so i'm sure they are restocking or maybe they have more maybe they will put other colors i'm not sure but i saw it again on the the second drop so definitely a beautiful piece and i think it's totally worth keeping it and the last piece i wanted to share is the mia jumper which i have been wanting for so long I had me a jumper in pink and in green and I did not keep them because the color was just so bad on me. I just didn't reach for it and I didn't like it on me even though I kept. 
Uh, one of them I, I returned, but the other one I kept in the hopes that I would wear, but I didn't. So the brown is just a no brainer. I feel like the brown is just goes with so much. And in my wardrobe, I feel like this makes total sense. The Mia jumper has been with Cezanne for so long and I love the details on the sleeves. I think it's so feminine and so beautiful. It's a, like a really beautiful type of sweater or a cardigan. The good thing is that it's versatile. You can wear both ways as a cardigan or as a sweater with the buttons closed. And this one is a little bit itchy, I have to say. It's not the most comfortable one. 34% Kid Mohair, 34% wool, 27% polyamide, and 5% elastane. So it's comfortable, but it does have some scratch. Like it doesn't feel buttery soft like some of the Cezanne knits. This one I would likely wear with a long sleeve top underneath. I actually have a really good one from Uniqlo that I'm going to link for you guys. And it has been really nice to wear that under my scratchy knits. So I will do actually a video on that at some point. This is extra small. Mia jumper runs really large. So I size down for this one. I never tried this small, but I feel like it would be really massive. And I tried a few colors already, the pink, the green, the natural color, which is like a rosy acru, so, so pretty. And then I was able to get this one at a nicer price. So had to get it. I think it was a really good find. It's a beautiful niche. And if you have a chance to get either from the restocks and the archives or on the pre-loved market, I think it's totally worth it. So those are the pieces that I wanted to review today. The other pieces that I got um, still from the Act 1 and also a few from the Act 2. I actually didn't go crazy with, that, with the Act 2. I'm only reviewing maybe three pieces, I think. I was just too sleepy. I didn't want to waste any time. I didn't want to lose my sleep on that day. And also I didn't need anything. I felt like I had gotten so many nice deals during the Act 1. So I decided I didn't really need anything. And obviously I'm not keeping all that stuff. I did get them because I wanted to see and try and decide what's good for my wardrobe or not. And of course, to share with you guys, because I know that some of you wanted information on these pieces. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give the thumbs up. If you're not on my Instagram, it's Mila in New York. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye, have a great day.